Make sure it snaps. Oh, when do I do it? No, oh, it's already recording. recording? Yes. Action. <laughs> it's 2020, bitches, and guess who's back? Action. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Hey guys, what's up? It's officially 2020. It's been 2020 for the past six days, right? Yes. Um, Pedro's sitting over there somewhere. If you don't know who Pedro is, I have a boyfriend. It's been so long since I've made a YouTube video. I think it's been two years. Because this morning I looked up when was the last time I made a YouTube video and I was like, I should make one. So here we are today. I don't really know what I'm going to be recording. So we'll figure it out. But well, welcome back, guys. Some of you guys missed me. Some of you guys forgot I exist. I don't know. But here we are today. So we're going to get started right away because I have no idea what we're doing. And I need to get back into the groove of being awkward in front of the camera. So, we're going to start and moisturize our face with this Belief, um, the True Cream Aqua Balm. This is a gel moisturizer. It's very hydrating on your skin. It's been my favorite. It's been my jam. We're going to prime our face with this Kat Von D Locket Hydrating Primer. So yeah, I became a licensed esthetician. And then along the way, um, I got a shop. So that's very exciting. That's where I am now, like literally recording a video. If you hear any music in the background, it's the neighbors downstairs. So excited, next month is Valentine's Day. Why am I excited, you ask? Because I have a boyfriend to celebrate with. He's over there. <laughs> oh, and I forgot it's our anniversary. Which, who asked who out? I asked him out. You know that awkward stage where you don't know what you are? Like, are you guys together? Are you not together? Well, I made that shit official. Because I was like, I'm not doing this. So next, I am going to use this Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. Wow, that's a really long name. Um, I'm basically going to use this. It's a little sample. I have no idea where I got it. Maybe it came in my Ipsy um, subscription that I get every month. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this to block out my pores. I start off with my skin so everything can get nice and locked in before I put on any um, foundation. If you guys want to see Pedro in one of my videos, you guys should totally like my video. How many likes should we try to get on this video? 200. 200 likes? I don't think my videos have gotten that many likes. 20, 20 likes. <laughs> I don't, I'm serious. I don't think my videos have gotten that many likes. That's like setting the bar too high where that video is never going to happen. All right. So I don't know if I had full natural brows the last time I made a video, but these are the gorgeous brows I have now. I'm going to use this CoverGirl in Rich Brown. It's an ultra fine brow pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush up my brow hairs and then I'm going to do a line at the bottom of my brow, just lightly pencil that in. If you guys hear doggies barking, <laughs> there's also a groomer downstairs so doggies are getting baths downstairs. So I'm going to fill in my brow ever so lightly. 
I was addicted to using the Anastasia dip brow and I kind of just have been loving a softer brow where it's just even lightly filled in. I'm going to take this NYX Control Freak. This is an eyebrow gel. Now, this is probably like weird, but I go over my brows once with this because it actually holds your eyebrows in place. But before it completely sets on your brows, I go in on it again. And it actually keeps like your eyebrows in place how you want them. So next, I am going to take my Maybelline concealer in 20 sand. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. I'm going to take a concealer brush. This is from Furless. And you only need a little bit, but sometimes I use this to prime my eyelids. So I'm going to start a line underneath my brow, just super straight. I'm going to curve right here, bring it straight across. And then I'm just going to brush that out. And your brow looks nice and clean even though you need to get them done. Well, at least I do. Oh, hey, I'm back. I'm zoomed in all close and personal. So, we got the eyebrows done. Um, I'm going to prime my eyelids with this MAC Soft Ochre. This is one of their paint pots. I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna use this to lightly prime my my lids. Kind of neutralizes any discoloration or darkness you have going on. So yeah, it's a new year. What's going on guys? Anything new? You guys have any goals that you're trying to officially commit to I'll tell you mine me and Pedro have been going to the gym I'm trying to lose 40 pounds because I want to look good when we go on vacation I want to look good by the time I'm 30 which is in like five months in May um, before I start doing my eye makeup, I'm actually going to use these under eye patches. Um, this is from Patchology and these are their illuminating eye gels. Okay, so we're going to leave those on while I do my eye makeup. And I don't really know what we're going to do. So I know I want to do shimmer. Something that's going to be very shimmery, glittery. But I don't know if I'm going to use glitter. So that's why I'm saying shimmer. <laughs> um, I think I am going to start off with this Anastasia Riviera palette. Um, and I have no idea how to say the name of this eyeshadow. Seychelles? Seychelles? <laughs> Back to not being able to pronounce names. So we're going to use this color right here. And I'm going to take just like a fluffy brush. Let's see. So we're going to take like a fluffy brush. This is from ColourPop. I'm gonna take that color. I hope it's not as intense as I. I don't really want anything too intense, but we'll see. So, I'm gonna make sure my primer is nice and blended. 
we're going to put this on the front portion of my eye because I don't know how intense or how crazy this look is going to get but we're going to apply it right there I'm going to use this brush from Furless it's also like one of their blending brushes um, we're going to blend this out Like I said, I just want shimmer all over my eyelids. These are like slipping off. So you gotta blend, 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 blend. Now it is the year 2020. So I hope you babes out there are blending your eyeshadow. I was looking back at pictures of myself when I first started doing makeup and didn't know what blending was like I used I literally had like sharp colors on my eyes I guess it was a look back then um I'm going to take this color from Colourpop and it's called dare so we're gonna take this brush from Rouge and Rogue I believe it's like their little dragon brushes oh sorry wrong thing and I'm gonna take that dare color. We're gonna put this on the outside. So that's like so pretty. Blending them together. Now there's gonna be a lot of packing on of colors, so. cool thing about wearing under eye gel pads is that it catches any fallout. We're gonna take this Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette and we are going to take the blue sapphire it's in this corner and again I'm gonna go back to the original blue fluffy brush from Colourpop that I used we're going to pack that on on top of the blue right here, but focus that more on the lid as opposed to the outside. Ew, yes. This looks good. I guess I'm going for more of a fairy, fairy dust type of look. And I think I need to intensify that purple just a bit, so we're going to go back to this. Riviera palette from Anastasia and we're gonna use Canes this purple right here and I know that color is not shimmery but we're gonna use it just to intensify a bit I'm packing this on just to give me a little more definition I'm going to take just a flat brush and again back to this Anastasia palette. I am going to take this color Sales. It's just a white, just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to put this on the lid, well not the lid, I'm sorry, underneath my brow bone just to give it a pop. Now I'm gonna do the other eye and I will be back. All right, so we are going to remove these, the under eye mask. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Artist Couture Mermaid Fantasy Diamond Glow Powder. Um, I think this looks exactly like the eyeshadow I'm already wearing, but just to intensify, I guess, a little bit. Give us some mermaid vibes, you know? I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face and I'll finish the bottom of my eyes later. So, 
we already prepped the skin yeah i'm not really wearing foundation all the time so i've been using this product i don't know how to pronounce this uh he helia brine i'm not sure but this is what it's called it's a bb cream and it actually has spf in it now this is very moisturizing very hydrating on your skin i'm gonna take some on my sponge i've always been a full coverage person because i don't know if you guys can tell i'm sure you can with this lighting that we have going on but i have pigmentation on this side of my face and um that was always like a big insecurity of mine and i just always wanted to cover it up i just switch something that's lighter on my face even if it's like a moisturizer um at least i'm still getting sun coverage you can wear this alone it definitely gives you like a simple glow Ooh, and the best part about this is that it's just one color it how do you say it like it adjusts to your skin tone i don't know it's magic you know we fuck with that shit Ooh, there's glitter on my face you're going to take this tart shape tape in light medium now i use this and then i take a lighter color on top to brighten up my under eye now i take this and put it here just like that there's days where i just don't put as much concealer but we're feeling extra today right i'm gonna bring this out just to clean up that shadow a bit right here but we're bringing it out i hope you guys can see what i'm doing and take our sponge and just press that in for this year i'm trying to shoot for hawaii Trying to get my boyfriend to take me to Hawaii for my birthday. <laughs> no, um, yeah. We're thinking about going to Hawaii. And then hopefully, I don't know, probably not this year, but I'm trying to push for a vacation in Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. I don't know. I might have to plan that one with my best friend. I feel like laura needs to come with me laura if you're watching this i miss you if you guys don't know who laura is that's my best friend so now you guys know okay so we concealed but we're gonna brighten our under eyes a little bit more so i'm gonna take another shape tape and i'm gonna use the color light sand i'm only going to put this lighter concealer right there and I'm gonna try to keep it right there so I'm gonna take my beauty blender again press it in now don't try to blend this all the way out because then you're gonna brighten the whole under eye this whole under eye section and it might be too bright but you're probably like, but you're already highlighting that anyway. And it's like, well, yeah, because you want to definitely brighten your under eyes. I don't know. That's that's the thing I've been doing with my makeup just to help me look more awake. Ratoncitos anda robando los dulces. Was I right or was I right? <laughs> So I am going to take some of this RCMA no color powder and I'm gonna take my sponge just like that and I'm gonna lightly press this onto the under eye area all over all over where I put concealer I'm going to take my Kat Von D translucent setting powder 
but I'm gonna set the rest of my face and again ever so lightly pretty sure this isn't like a powder brush but that's what I'm gonna use it for today all right <laughs> should we finish the under eyes or the face let's finish the face um so at the beginning I think I mentioned that I still have an ipsy subscription so I am going to use this miniature bronzer that I got in an ipsy subscription bag I don't know which one but this is the take home the bronze this is take home the bronze from the balm this is an anti-orange bronzer and this is in the color Thomas yeah so we're gonna do that and this is a contour 218 M brush so I'm just gonna take this put it here This is a Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Kisses. It has some shimmer to it. So we are going to use this. Now I'm going to go back in and with an e.l.f. brush. I've had this brush forever. I don't know what it's called. But I'm just going to buff out that blush and bronzer contour that I applied and I'm also gonna brush off any extra powder that I left under my under eye I'm gonna finish my my eyes and then we are going to add highlights so we're gonna go back in with that Riviera palette and we're gonna go in with Seychelles I don't know how to say this color, pronounce this color or this name, but we're going to take that color and we're going to use that brush that I used after with the um, Artist Couture and we're going to do that under on our bottom lash line. Next we're going to go in with Kings, which is this purple color right here. And these are so pigmented. I barely tapped the brush into the color. And there's a lot of pigment on there. So make sure you guys are careful. I don't even think I brushed that off. And we're just going to connect it on the bottom. And I think I'm going to bring this purple in halfway. So I want you guys to let me know what would you like to see in other videos. Um, I definitely have the time to record now and I definitely want to push out more content out there. I know I've always had friends ask me how do you do this, how do you do that. So if that's something that you guys are still interested in learning from me whatever it is just let me know and I can make a video for you guys today was just kind of like I know I want to record something I wasn't sure what but here we are just making something happen um for my highlight we are going to use another product that I got from ipsy and this is a product from wander beauty a one Wondrous Glow and I think the color is called After Hours. So this is a highlighter. It's so pretty. Ooh, yes. Look at that. I'm going to take a little bit of this with a more fluffier, smaller brush. And I'm going to add this we're going to go in with a different highlight though after this, but I'm going to do this on the inner corners of my eyes right here. I'm going to take this and light by Denisa Myricks. This is a halo powder in the color Sun. Now these are very intense. 
this is like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is gorgeous. Like, if I can bathe in this, that's amazing. So, this is what it is. It's very shimmery. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's magnificent. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it in the inner corners just to shimmer it up a bit. Now I think I'm gonna take one more color and add it to my inner corner for a highlight. So I'm going to use this Morphe, um, I don't know what this palette was called, <laughs> but this Morphe palette where it's all the rainbow colors and we're gonna take this shadow liberation up here hopefully this this does what I want it to this is very shimmery but I think it has reflects of blue in it and then this I'm just gonna apply it right here just to intensify that part I could be wrong I could have just mixed some of my blue eyeshadow in it and it's just Oh, I got too much shadow. See how you're getting all clumpy? We definitely intensified our inner corner, but I feel like it brushed off a little bit of those gold reflexes from my Denise Myricks product. So I'm going to go back in and actually put this on top of that. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta go back in and layer it up, you know? Yes. This looks amazing. Unicorn vibes, mermaid vibes, fairy vibes, all the vibes. Right, babe? I don't think he's paying attention to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do for a lip color. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my cupid's bow should we do purple should we do blue should we do teal what do you think babe teal so i have this color i feel like this matches my hair i also have this dreamer from cat Von d should we use this I wonder what happens if we mix both. So I'm going to take Kat Von D Dreamer. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Anastasia Requiem. Requiem? I don't know how to pronounce half these names. So we're going to mix both. And see what happens. Mm -hmm. We're going to experiment science so I feel like I just got a lighter version of that color I'm not sure if that's what I want to do so I'm gonna take some of that color that I mixed and see how it looks might ruin the whole makeup look hmm maybe I should have done a nude hmm I like scaring. I still need to do my eyelashes. Wow, I forgot about that. So we're gonna add some of that Artist Couture Mermaid Fantasy on top of it. See if that helps. If not, I'm taking it off. So I'm gonna take that blending brush once again. I don't like it so we're gonna take it off I will be back so I didn't like that lip color I had on so it came all off I don't know if I want to do purple I think this color might be more fitting hmm I think we're gonna do this we're gonna do Roxy from Kat Von D but first pretzel stick break 
We're gonna take that purple. Let's see. I think that looks better than the other color we were trying to go for. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. What is that from? Ready, set, go. the Lizzie McGuire movie. So we're gonna go back in with the actual applicator that it comes with. That shit is so much better. That took forever. All right, so I think it's time for lashes because uh, I'm feeling a little bit like an alien with these big eyeballs. This is the cutest packaging ever. I love Hello Kitty. If you guys did not know that, now you know. I actually have a Hello Kitty tattoo right here on my arm. And I have Hello Kitties tattooed on my feet. I have a Hello Kitty on one foot and then I have Dear Daniel on the other. And now you know I love Hello Kitty. So there's another thing that I've noticed people tell me that they didn't know. Um, and when I mean by people, I mean clients that I've done their makeup on or just like my friends in general. But they'll tell me like, I didn't know you were supposed to trim lashes. And I don't know, like I just think, like it's not funny, but it's just kind of like, so what do you do? Do you just put on like the whole lash and even though it's sticking out or poking you or hurting you, like you're still wearing the lash and most of the time that's what they're doing. So you learn something new every day, even if it's something simple like that. Like again, the beauty blender, you know, your sponge, your makeup sponge. You can wet it or you can use it like that. Your eyelashes, for sure, you can trim those. You can take them out of the packaging bring it up to your eye, measure it. How do you know if it's sticking out? Um, you need to trim it. So you just take some scissors, trim it. You'll know where to trim because of the pattern of the lash, how it's made. But yeah, it's something, um, something else I've been told by clients or my friends. Or it's something that they realize I do and then they're like, I didn't know you were supposed to do that. It's like, uh, yeah. It's, I would say we're done, but not yet. Almost. What am I missing? Oh, I need to set my face. <laughs> I'm going to use this Moira Micro Dot Makeup Fixer. Um, it says with micro fine spray, makeup shield, oil control, herbal, and floral extracts. So I'm gonna use this to set my face. Now, this is so fun because the mist is super fine, but I love it. It smells so good. Now, you're supposed to do this from far away, but I feel like when you do it far away, you don't feel anything. Is that the whole point? Is that the whole point of the fine mist? Of the fine spray? It's all over my shirt now. Mm. All right, now you're probably like, oh my God, she's finally done, but no, <laughs> you're wrong. Now, if you guys know, every time I do my makeup, there's a signature step final step so we're gonna dot in this little beauty mark right here and you guys already know it's either an X or a star but today we're doing a star and we're gonna dot this right here and now we're done yay that took forever all right guys, so we went from not knowing what to do. I mean, kind of, I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do, but I really honestly didn't know what to do once I actually started recording. 
but here it is our fairy mermaid unicorn vibes I feel like I'm forgetting one but um, I hope you guys like it um, of course this is like the first video I've done in like two years so I probably am all over the place and all weird looking out to the side whatever it is so um, hopefully next video will be better um, you guys can let me know what you guys want to see and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time